Hello and welcome to yet another Outwardly Experience! So today we're going to talk about a problem which troubled me for two consecutive days. It was a problem related to that everything was working perfectly fine. The server event on resource start, it was working perfectly, flawlessly. However, any server event related to players, let's say on player connect or on player respawn, on player disconnect, everything all those server events would not get triggered for some reason and I had to do some research and finally a guy named Sabi the Executioner like his profile picture though he pointed it out the solution so first of all let me show you what the actual problem looks like and then we'll talk about the solution so first let me quickly make a blank solution .NET Core Next, all right, takes so long. Oh, gotta love the wait. Lego, Lego, Lego. Okay, properties, application, netcore 2.0, class library, debugging, project executable, executable, this PC games rage MP server files okay save done now we will get the GTA network API from the NuGet package so NuGet browse GTA network there we go spelled it the wrong last time third times is a charm We'll install the GTA Network API. I accept. Ready. You can close this. Dependency packages. Here, GTA Network API 0.3.6. Now we will add it in our script using GTA Network API. We will call our class, not class one, sucks, rename main. Yes. And we will inherit script. Let's make a uh, server event. Server event. Event resource start. Public void on resource. R E S O U R C resource start. N A P I dot util. Util, come on. Console output. This works, and I did not put it inside the exclamation mark. Perfect. So, this should do it. Build. Build succeeded. Ready. And debug. Wait. Oh, hold on. I forgot the meta. New, 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 new. Add. Where is it? Where is it? Add. New item. XML. XML file. Add. Rename, oh come on, rename, meta, and we will add this. I'll just put it as test, test.dll, save. Now we can run the server. Let's see if this works pop up. This works, this works, there we go, right over here. On resource start, is working, however, However, that isn't the problem. The problem lies over here. Let me show you. Server event. Event on, no, player connected. Public void on player connected. What's with all the green lines? Okay, my bad, my bad. Should have closed this. There we go. The green light should disappear. Okay. Now NAPI dot util dot console. Why did it stop? Console output. Let's just. Oh, forgot. Client player. There should be a space. Let's just give the player his name. Uh, player dot name has connected see the code looks fine however 
once I start it. Here we go. This works. It prints perfect. However, if I go to Rage MP, Updater, and then I actually try to connect, this is what it will look like. So now I'll hit connect to my local host. Connect. Uh, now it should connect to my Rockstar account. Connect it to Rockstar services. So now the game is almost loaded. Took a hell lot of time. Uh, any century now. Mm, gotta love my PC. So as you can see, the multiplayer has started, and it should connect any moment now. It has connected. My player is in-game, I have full control over my player, but on the console, as you can see, the message did not pop up, even though the script itself is completely flawless. There's like just one line, it cannot be wrong, come on. I cannot be that bad in scripting, right? Yeah. Apparently, it turns out it's not the fault of the script itself, and I'll tell you why. It's because the NuGet package that you've used, the GT Network API as in dependencies, this package, that's the thing that's wrong. So, to fix it, just remove it, okay? You'll see a bunch of errors by this time, because the package itself is not here. You see? Lots of them. What we'll do is we'll go back to our server, Rage MP, server files, bridge, runtime, and we'll find bootstrapper. You see this? Bootstrapper? Just delete it. Done. Now what we're gonna do is we'll just open updater.exe one time so that it updates the bootstrapper.dll in the runtime folder. That's what we need. The .dll file that comes from the updater, not from the NuGet package, because something is effed up in the NuGet package one. So now that it's opened up, I know that in the server files, bridge, runtime, my bootstrapper should be back, and it is. We will reference this now in my class, so uh, add, why can I not find it? Ever add add reference references browse and then track down that bootstrapper so it's in rage MP server file bridge runtime and then bootstrapper add okay the errors should be gone there we go and you'll have this error sorry warning that's not big of a deal this is just a warning it'll work perfectly fine uh, two minutes okay so we'll build again and then we'll start St I think I said start didn't I okay build succeeded start come on no okay there we go so now this time it should and as you can see now it has actually outputted that my player has joined and now it starts to work that was the problem do not install the nuget package gta network api however just if you have done it remove that reference go to the runtime resources delete the bootstrapper.dll Use the original updater.exe from RageMP, update the file, you'll get a new bootstrapper in the runtime resources folder, add it to the reference in your class, the new one that you got from the updater.exe, and then try it. It should work fine by now. And that's it for today. Thank you.